Does anyone ever think about wronging himself? Does anyone want to harm himself? Does he think about wronging himself? So what does Allah mean by saying, فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِي إِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ Do not wrong yourself. You know what this means? This means Allah is teaching us that when you do something haram, when you do an evil, when you do a sin, you have actually harmed yourself. You did not harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is not affected by your sin. Allah is not harmed by your sin. The real person that is going to taste the bitterness and the punishment of the sin is going to be you only. And this is how you've wronged yourself. When a person commits a sin or an evil deed, he thinks he's enjoying it. His body is enjoying. He thinks he's enjoying the moment. Little does he know that he has actually wronged and harmed himself. And the effect of that harm will come soon to him if he does not repent from this sin. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith, when this is hadith Qudsi, Allah azza wa jal said this and paraphrased by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah said, my servants, my slaves, the deeds that you do, they are your deeds. I only collect it and gather it. And then on the day of judgment, I will give you your deeds. If you've done good, you're rewarded for it. If you've done bad, it'll be in your face, you will see it. It might end you up in Jahannam, Allahu A'lam. These are all matters in the hands of Allah Azza wa Jal. But why would you expose yourself to such a punishment by committing these continuous sins? So my brothers and sisters in Islam, we are now in Rajab and we must honor this sacred month because Allah Azza wa Jal honored it and its honor was mentioned in the Quran. Its sacredness was mentioned in the Quran. 